Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another exciting lesson from SAGET Tech. My name is Asaf and I hope you enjoy this one. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below this video for us to be able to keep producing more and more of these wonderful, wonderful and exciting videos. Today we are on grade 7 technology and our topic is structures and we're focusing today on telephone systems. You'll recall that uh, grade sevens are doing cell phone towers as paid in term two, hence um, telephone systems. It all began in 1876 when this man, Alexander Graham Bell, was awarded the first US patent for the invention of telephone. This award was a bit controversial as there were some other guys who had contributed in uh, starting the phone at that particular time. But Graham Bell, because of his influence, uh, was awarded this award. But you would recall some years before that, guys have been trying to start the telephone with some shortcomings and they could not be uh, successful. Guys like Antonio Giuseppe Mueshi, who is coming from uh, Italy, he constructed a telephone-like device which uh, did never come to surface because it had some shortcomings, like I said. And in <clears throat> a couple of years thereafter, this man, Johann Philip Reis, constructed a prototype make and break telephone uh, that is today called the Reis telephone. Um, it was not complete. It still lacked something which in 19, 1876 Graham Bell perfected and came up with the first operational telephone. In 1878, it was only then when South Africa received its own telephone. Um, this was uh, made possible by the man called Adolf Butcher, who owned a small watch make a shop in Cape Town and imported a number of telephones from Siemens and Halsken. Uh, at that particular time, the phone could not, could just be used between two centers or between two houses. And years after that, it just evolved and people started affiliating in, 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 in phones and they started owning phones per, uh, per house. Just a few people were able to use that. As transformation went on, many and many people started now using telephones. At that particular time, there was no or there were no cell phones. That's the history of our telephones, where they started. Now, we need to look at the advantages. Yes, we are using telephones, but they are not going without advantage. Uh, they are going with advantages, the reason why we are using them. Um, number one, they are quick and easy to use. When when you make a call right now, you just dial and the recipient won't even take two minutes or an hour. No matter how far he is or she is from you, he answers immediately and the two of you can talk. And even the little child like this can use a phone because you just dial the numbers and put the phone to your ear and it's it's gone. So it's quick and easy to use less expensive yeah most of the phones are so less expensive you look at a phone like this you can purchase for a hundred rand or less and that's why it's so easy for each and every household to can afford to have one phone even the landlines uh, the receivers are very cheap we don't have got to go for a very expensive receivers yes there are those that are expensive but the basic one anybody can be able to purchase them now when coming to cell phones, one big advantage is that they've got an entertainment facility wherein one can take pictures, capture videos and audios. Um, they can also you can also listen to radio on your phone. You can browse the internet, but a lot of entertainment that you can get from that. You can even play music from from your phone. So there's a lot of entertainment. That's why people are using it. That's why they've got so many advantages now. Now, the other thing, most important, the distance that does matter. It does not matter how 
further person you're speaking to is, but he can be reached thousands and thousands of kilometers. It can, you can still reach the person. You can even talk to the person who's uh, in the international countries and even abroad, overseas. You can call them via Skype and you are connected. You speak to them. The other advantage is that phones do have the internet facilities. Uh, our cell phones, they do have internet uh, facilities wherein one can browse the net, uh, can receive and send emails, can uh, use your WhatsApp, you use your Instagram, you use your Facebook. All these social media platforms through internet can be used via your cell phone. So this is very, 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 very useful. Now, the other one, which is the last that I have on my side, but you can have as many advantages that you know, that you can think of as possible, is that cell phones can be accessible anywhere. It does not matter where you are, being it urban or the most rural place of them all, for as long as there's a landline cable or a mobile tower closer to you, you can be able to get or to be in touch. So nowadays, it doesn't matter where you are. Receiving the uh, phone signal is just amazing. Right, now we are coming to disadvantage. We've spoken to the advantages. Now let's speak of disadvantages. Uh, it's for both cell phones and landlines. Number one, it can cause a very serious uh, brain damage and excessive headaches if used for a long time without a break. There are people who are always constantly on the phone. They are very, those rays, more especially when you're using cell phones, uh, they can cause headaches, severe headaches, and you can en end up having brain damage. And the other thing is that some of the facilities of these phones let's be honest, are very expensive. Facilities like a video call, very expensive, and calling from one network to the next, uh, or even from landline to a one network supplier becomes very, very expensive. And um, the other disadvantage, which is bad, is when people start to use phones to threaten others, to blackmail others. You know, government have tried to force everybody to register their uh, numbers with the um, network suppliers, but still people are still using phones to threaten, to blackmail others uh, for ransom or something. Now, the other thing which is a disadvantage to phones is the network problem. You know, this cable theft make it very, very difficult when you're using a landline because people would steal this uh, car part to sell it and there are companies of people or, and people who solely depend on phones on everyday basis of their lives. And the other problem that uh, brings about network problems is people steal even the batteries that are used to power the towers when there is no electricity. So if they have stolen such immediately when we have power cards, no um, connectivity in cell phones. Others would steal cables, no connectivity in landlines. So it's a very, very, very serious problem. The other problem is, is it distracts the quality family conversation time. You know, families talk time that, is insti that instills values and responsibilities always distracted by uh, the fact that everybody in the house all the times are on cell phones, nobody's listening to the other. Now talk that now that serious talk that develops and builds everybody within the family, but everyone on the cell phone. And finally, it creates a habit of lying in the society. Let's be honest. Somebody will be calling you and you tell the person, hey. I am very sick in bed, only to find that you somewhere out there having some fun with friends, having some drinks. Sometimes you 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 would give a very wrong occasion, very wrong occasion, telling a person I'm here, whereas you are not there. So as, as that has become habitual, everybody is using that. So it's a trend now, and people now are using phone 
is a, a mode that they can lie to other people of their location, more especially location, as well as uh, other issues. That is advantages and disadvantages of cell phones. And uh, we started off with the history of cell phones. I think for grade sevens, that's where we are going to end for now. And the next topic that we're going to be talking about is now differentiating between landlines and mobile phones and looking at the advantages and disadvantages of both the landlines and the mobile phones. From me, as of thank you very much. Uh, sub keep subscribing to our channel for us to be able to keep making more of these valuable videos.